in this video i am going to show you how to use invoke workflow <coughs> see this i made a demo program it has two workflows acme logmin is a one, one of the workflow and work item table generation is another one workflow uh, let it see what it uh, this workflow will do i am going to run this Okay, the, I'm going to run this workflow. And it is. Okay, our this login workflow completed its task. It's working up to this page. Uh, if I run this workflow, what it will do? It will read this data and going to tell us how many rows are available. Okay. Uh, it is executing okay now I am going to run this workflow see this is reading data tables page wise okay it's completed a reading process now it will going to go uh, give the number of records yeah actually it has 42 records okay uh, these are the two different workflows uh, each one having its own task right if you are working for a big project then it is always a best practices you have to split your uh, whole work into small small piece of, of work uh, that will be uh, uh, very easy for maintenance and understanding if you uh, if your process is more complicated then uh, in future it will be uh, very tough for understanding the process right so you have to split your work in a small small workflow like this now I am going to show you how to um, invoke this workflow and this workflow together okay so I am going to create an another one workflow I already created that workflow called the main workflow in that I am going to use this uh, invoke these two workflows okay uh, this is my uh, main workflow in this I am going to use invoke workflow see invoke workflow before that um, I'm going to uh, drag this activity and then invoke workflow I'm going to invoke two workflows so uh, I need two activities copy the name of this workflow and paste it here okay like that copy this in real time scenario uh, this workflow may be located in some other folder directory so you have to give your uh, full path here right but in this case um, all these three workflows are in the same directory so I am giving directly the name okay uh, let's we execute this see it started working okay first workflow going to complete yeah first workflow completed now second workflow execution started yeah it returns that uh, number of counts uh, this is how we have to use the invoke workflow file activity 
okay uh, in a big project it, it is a best practice you have to split your tasks in a small small um, small workflow file and then join together it will be easy for maintenance and understanding um, for everything thank you